it's just so hard when people are just tuning out to keep people's attention. So I, I think that that's not unique to me. That's a big marketing challenge. People are turning away. So you get that split second moment. How do you capture their attention and hopefully get them to do something with you? Hello, welcome to Top of Mind. I'm here at the FQ Lounge with Jennifer Breithaupt. She's the Global Consumer CMO of City. Jennifer, I'm so happy you're here with us Thank today. Thank you for having me. What is the most exciting thing for you? I think we're extremely proud of and excited right now um, to be leading an initiative around gender equality in the music industry. City put a stake in the ground and said, we're gonna help launch See Her, Hear Her and a really um, that's to advance gender equality in the music industry where women frankly just are not present. I think music is such an incredible part of storytelling so we'll continue on that path. You'll see City doing a lot there and I'm super excited about it. What is one of those actions? What's something concrete that you can do that you think can move it forward? Music is such an important part of our storytelling. At the very root it's making sure that when we're picking and selecting music for our ads and our videos and all the work that we're doing around the world that we, you know, we're showcasing women or we're showcasing songwriters that are women. Um, and we can make that commitment and we own that decision. So I think that's, there's a ton of initiatives underway, but that's a, a very basic one that um, has a, a really big outcome to it. Digital disruption is certainly touching the financial industry. What innovation do you see coming down the pipe that you think will most change the way you do business? I think the thing that we're most curious about is voice. Um, and how our brand shows up in voice. And if you think about that, um, it's complex. And when, when you're a bank and you're thinking about people having that one-to-one -one real uh, um, interaction with some kind of device, and it's true, 50 they say, and it's true, we're already seeing it, 50% of all inquiries will be on a voice device. And so for us to be there and have our brand show up, but also have it be um, a utility that kind of makes people's lives easier, that's, we're like obsessed with that right now. Um, and you'll see us testing a whole bunch of different things in that space right now. Um, some around banking, some around music, some around different things where, um, you know, we'll get it right if we collectively just kind of test and learn, um, learn really quickly and then put things, it fail fast and put things in our um, rear view mirror. I think that that's an area where we're really focused right now. Have you started testing with voice yet? Or oh, that's yeah. coming? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So what's, what's something I could ask? You could ask, you could say, um, what city concert is happening in Brooklyn tonight? And it might tell you Madonna, because that is happening and there's a city offer. So um, it's, it's just a way for you to interact and find out what's available if you have a city product. Yeah, I went to the Madonna concert. You it did? was amazing. Did well, you go? I went and 1045 star is pretty late for me. I have to admit like yeah, it was still amazing. <laughs> it was amazing, but I'm just too old for that. Like I, I like the eight o'clock start, but yeah, it was fun. It was a great show. Um, what keeps you up at night? You know, as it gets harder and harder as a marketer um, to kind of capture people's attention. It's just so hard when people are just tuning out. Um, to keep people's attention. So I, I think that, that's not unique to me, that's not unique to City. That's a big marketing challenge. People are turning away. So you get that split second moment. How do you capture their attention and um, hopefully get them to do something with you? Yeah. Does that change the way you think about creativity or about customer experience? When you think about creativity, if you only have that split second, it matters. Um, and you're not trying to say too much. I think that we get bogged down with that as marketers. We're like, we've got to say everything. We might not get them again. No, you're, they're probably going to turn away if you say everything. So just finding a way to have that like quick moment where you've attracted or have stopping power where you've attracted their attention. And final question, I want to ask you um, for some career advice. So what's, what's the best piece of career advice you've either received or given? I don't know if it was career advice. I think it was just advice from my mom, believe it or not, when I was, um, and probably both my parents, because um, they have this united front thing. But um, I think they they kept saying over time to all of us, "There's, I have three other siblings, and it, any place worth going is not an easy journey to get there. So I just, I really believe in like working hard and the hustle of that. And if you get there too easily, it's probably not a place worth going. Um, so I think that's, I try to, instill that in my team that like just work hard it will pay off um, and then the second piece of advice because you asked for one and I always have to give two uh, spend equal amount of time on your own personal brand um, we often put ourselves behind everything else and I think it's important to stop and pay attention and say 
how do I want to um, kind of reflect what I'm working on? Not in, in, not in a crazy way, but just, you know, who am I? What, how do I show up? What am I representing? And I think that's important and we often don't spend the time. Well, thank you so much, thank Jennifer. So I appreciate much. you being with us and thank you for tuning in to Top of Mind. We'll see you next time.